There's, this seems to be extremely targeted. It looks, in my research, everybody, everybody that's kind of come out has been a government official, and I yep. believe it said, I found half, half of the victims have been CIA personnel. Yep. One family was hit in China and then hit again in Philadelphia. Right. Then two different, there's two different reports of um, personnel being hit right. on a staircase outside the White yeah. House. And there's only three countries on record that have kind of dabbled in microwave weapons. Yep. U.S., China, Russia. Russia. Well, so let me let me say first and foremost on this on this issue. There, so there, there's no doubt to me that something is happening. Um, uh, and it, what's interesting is is in is so, so after I went public, the, you know, the reaction was well, I'll talk about that in a second because that's more of a personal story. But you know, we know the Russians have this. Uh, it, it, it it is it is an open source information. The Russians have dabbled in this in this technology and in these weapons, and they've admitted it. Um, you know, as I've as I've come along, you know, whether it's when you know in the Trump administration or, or the Biden administration, people across the aisle believe this is happening. So, you know, when I personally sat next to you know John Bolton, former National Security Advisor, he said absolutely because two of his people under his tutelage, under his command, were, were hit by this. Um, I had a beer with again Chris Miller, the former you know acting Secretary of Defense in the Trump administration, former Fifth Group guy who I I'd met you know years earlier in in Iraq. Um, and he said, absolutely, because there are U.S. military members who have been hit by this, who've come back and he met them. Um, uh, and then, of course, just, you know, in, in dealing with kind of the, you know, with, with Bill Burns and kind of the current crop of national security officials. But, um, you know, Russia has the expertise in this. And certainly I would say they, they, they would have the, the intent because it's taking, you know, Americans off the off the playing field. But there's 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 a couple stories on this. The, the, there's three bins I put this story in. One is um, how the U.S. government has. Has has treated us so poorly who have come forward on this and not getting health care. The second bin, uh, so there's an accountability piece because they screwed this up. Um, the second bin is the health care piece, and and they're better at that. And then the last is who's doing it, you know, culpability and what does that mean? And so it, and it's it's all kind of interwoven. And but it, it's been you know such a such a you know uh, for for the victims of this again, you know I've met these people, I I know these people, I've served with them in the field. A whole bunch of them have done Russian operations in the past, so it's it's pretty suspicious to me that they, they're being kind of uh, uh, hit right now. Um, the bad part about it is, you know, and, and this is why when I, when I finally made it to Walter Reed, to the Traumatic Brain Injury Center, I identified so much with the, with the you know, with the, whether it's the SEALs or the, C, the Air Force Combat Controllers or others who are going through their own TBIs, it's, it's this silent injury. Nobody believes you. Yeah. So if you're a team guy and your fucking head's killing you and, and, you know, and you're having depression and suicidal thoughts, but nothing looks bad on you, you know, if you say I got to take a knee, everyone's going to look at you a little weird. Same thing with this, with the, with kind of with the what happened with the Havana syndrome stuff is, I mean, I wish I wish I'd been shot, um, but in the meantime, I have a splitting headache that never goes away. Um, you know, I have it now. It's, it's I, I'm I, I I got some kind of cool new experimental treatment that's that's made it a lot better for me. But but ultimately, it's that kind of that that you know that uh, you know unseen silent silent wound, and so. Um, you know, it's it's just it, it, it's one of those things that 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 we have to kind of get to the bottom of because there are really outstanding U.S. national security professionals um, who have done incredible things for the for the U.S. government who are now kind of taken off the off the battlefield and and you know colleagues of mine have to you know just I, I retire but they're having to retire as well. Um, if you talk to CIA Director Bill Burns privately, he says absolutely this is happening. Hey everybody, I'm Sean Ryan. Click here to subscribe to the Sean Ryan Show YouTube channel for the hottest and most compelling interviews that you will not see anywhere else. I've also made a playlist of all the previous SRS episodes so they're easy to find. You can find that right here.